The WIU men's golf team won the Indiana Hoosier Invitational this past weekend. The Leathernecks finished with a two-round score of 578 after opening the event with a 287 on Saturday. Two Leathernecks finished in the top 10 overall. Senior Alex Templin and freshman Adam Falk each tied for eighth place with a 145. Western's last tournament crown came when they won the WIU Bo Masato Invitational back in 2011. The Leathernecks look to stay hot when they travel to Peoria to compete in the Bradley Invitational. Over to the Diamond now, the Leatherneck baseball team will close out a seven-game homestand this Wednesday at Alfred D. Boyer Stadium against St. Ambrose. The game is scheduled to start at 4 p.m. and it will be Military Appreciation Day. The Leathernecks will honor the Department of Military Science and the ROTC program to celebrate their 100-year anniversary. A reception will be held at 2 p.m. in the Horbin Hall Gym. From the diamond over to the gridiron, the WIU football team was in action without starting quarterback Trenton Norvell due to an emergency appendectomy. So Sean McGuire gets the start at quarterback and he leads a team that is battling for their playoff lives against Indiana State. Let's take a look at the highlights. We pick it up in the first quarter where Indiana State's Isaac Harker on the keeper runs it in for an eight yard touchdown to put the Sycamores up six to three after the missed point after. Fast forwarding now to the second quarter, Sean McGuire with a touchdown run of his own to cut the Leatherneck deficit to just 10 points going into halftime. Jumping to the fourth quarter now, running back Nico Watson gets the ball and he does what he does best, scoring an eight yard score to tie the game up at 30 and he forces overtime. In the first possession of OT, Watson again forcing his way through for a one yard score this time and the Leathernecks take their first lead since the first quarter, Watson's third touchdown on the day. And that score would be all that the Leatherneck defense would need as linebacker Adam Brott with a huge pass breakup on fourth down shut down any chances of a Sycamore touchdown. The Leathernecks with a big 37 to 30 win at Indiana State to keep their playoff hopes alive for the 2015 campaign. The Leathernecks snap a three game losing streak and will play host to the South Dakota State Jackrabbits in their final regular season game of the year. In high school news, the Macomb High Bombers team kept their undefeated season intact. The Bombers improved to 3-0 after beating Aylman 9-7 after hitting them their first loss in their last four games. The Bombers controlled the game from the start, putting up four runs in the first inning. But four errors on the defensive side show the Bombers have some room to improve. Macomb High will be in action on the road this Saturday when they take on the Galesburg Silver Streaks at noon. Thanks for watching News 3 Live at 4. We'll be right back.